pew, 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 pew. <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> Welcome back for some good vibes and video games. I hope you guys are ready to jump back into Red Dead Redemption today. I know I am, so let's do this. Last episode, we finished off with this train robbery. We looted a bunch of stuff. I got a lot of money from it. Let me see what else. Oh yeah, I died a lot during that quest. That was a tough quest. And the wonderful part was every single time I died, it sent me way back to a previous checkpoint and I had to redo all that all over so many times. So I'm glad I finished that. That was, that was great. That was fun. My unofficial goal today is to hopefully find a spot where I can hunt down some beavers. I don't really know where I can find those and hopefully I just kind of come across it myself. I might also need to stop being stubborn and go buy some freaking medicine. And maybe buy some bait too. Maybe that'll help me lure beavers out in like a specific area. But again, I need to know where they spawn. I still need to get some more red sage from around here. And it looks like the only quest available to us right now is another Abraham Reyes quest. I would love to find everything that I need for this De da de da de Dallas and son de Dallas son and son quest line, but you know we'll see. I'm just gonna try to find it all organically instead of forcing myself to find things that just takes too much time. But you know we'll just see. We'll just go with the flow. Oh yeah yeah yeah. So here's this guy. I I know for a fact I've not gotten any beaver fur, so beaver skins or whatever. Maybe. You know what, let's just see. Let's just see if this works. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, well, sir, I'm having a hard time finding beavers. You didn't exactly tell me where I could find those. Please tell me you found it all. Return to Charles when you have 20 feathers by a beaver person. Ah! Oh, wait a second. No, I miscounted. So I need 20 feathers, which I've, I've had for a while. I only need 10 red sage and I have 11 so I'm good the only thing I'm missing Hello? is the beaver skins and I'm assuming they're gonna be near rivers and we're definitely not near a river so I don't know hopefully yeah. maybe I'll be lucky enough to stumble across one all right here's Reyes ah oh my god wolves are everywhere come on <laughs> Going back to El Presidio, I think. It's too quiet. Why is it so quiet? Ah! Ah! Ay, Dios mío! Oh my God! Okay. Okay. All right. Yep. Absolutely. Yes. Sure. Oye, mamita, cuando te vea la próxima vez, que sea un poco más durito, ¿eh? ¿ah? <laughs> And I mean rougher, ¿eh? <laughs> What would your most loyal follower, Luisa, say about that? Uh, who? Yeah. Luisa. Oh, huh. The you mean Laura? Uh, her, uh, oh, a gentleman yeah. never All right. tells, but she was a most wonderful... Uh, I just say she was increíble. Yeah, yes. yeah. Let me tell you something. I strongly recommend her. You take her when you have the chance, my brother. <laughs> she thinks she's your wife. <gasps> My wife? These peasant girls, they believe every word a fellow says. These, so these guys all suck! It's really quite charming. I love peasants. Don't you <laughs> love peasants? I love them. They have such purity. Are you gonna marry her? Ha! <laughs> marry a peasant! My dear boy, don't be laughable. Oh I'm going to be the next president of Mexico. My wife will meet ambassadors, kings, other no. great men. No, Luisa for the president. Thought that I would marry some peasant girl with a tight gun and the hands of a farmer. Well, I really don't think so. My mother, que yo la cuide, would turn in her grave. Interesting. Mm -hmm. But come on, let's run. I've got an amazing present for you, my brother, huh? Yes? The man you seek. Together, we will bring them to justice. Let's go. Thank God for John. That's all I gotta say. Thank goodness for John. Let's go. Wowzers. We will both have victory. What a start. 
<laughs> Wait a second. Oh no! I was gonna make a, I was gonna make a joke referring to a newspaper article that I discovered a couple episodes ago that made me cackle. Uh -huh. Or yeah, there it is. I don't, <laughs> I don't know if you're picking up what I'm putting down, but. <laughs> Well, it seems like we got this video off on the right foot, huh? With Agenda's men in El Sepulcro. Finally, the Santa is dead. Yes. Well, why did you not kill him yourself when my men gave you the chance? Didn't feel like it. See, they wanted it more than I did. The Santa had given me what I needed, or I thought he had. A lot of young boys will sleep safer in their beds now. The Santa was only following orders. He was dumb and loyal to his awful master, but that's all he was. Poor Louisa. She probably has no idea. She thinks this guy is being they loyal. Abraham? They are at El Presidio, John. Can you believe it? The place we first met. The scene of one of my greatest victories over Allende's traitors. You could not write a better story. It's a story I want to finish. It is a story we both want to finish, my brother. If my rebels can take El Presidio, then we can move on Escalera. The revolution is happening, John. Are you sure they're there? Okay. Escuela and Williamson? Javier Escuela is there. That much I am sure of. I don't know about Williamson. Escuela will do for now. I am told they paid Allende to hide them. They have been in his protection since you arrived in Mexico. You see, you should have trusted your brother, Abraham, all along. When we have him, then you can start making me feel bad. Immediately after you thank me for everything I've done for you, Amigo. Yeah. I don't like how much TNT is in the back of uh, the car that I am currently riding on right now. Just saying. I knew I had heard the name Javier Escuela before. He is from this province. They tell me he was once a notorious bounty hunter and also one of the early revolutionaries. That sounds about right. All before my rebellious urges took hold, of course. <laughs> I think yeah, I was still trying urges. To Europe mm. at the time. I was living in Madrid with the ambassador's wife. That sounds about right as well. Escuela was always a torn man. Cynic who desperately wanted to be a romantic. Whereas you, John, are a romantic who wants to be a cynic. Javier would die fighting for what he believed in. He had a lot of passion see it. no love. Although he really admired Dutch, of course. But then we all did. He was the leader of your little group of fortune hunters, right now. Dutch started falling apart, and hit Javier harder than any of us. He went crazy. It was like the one thing he'd ever believed in turned out to be a fraud. You talk about him fondly. It ain't exactly fun. We was close once, but he never cared for me or anybody else. Not any of his so-called brothers. He left me to die. We had a chance to save him. And didn't he teach you any Spanish during all this time you were together? I remember. But who saved you, John? Who saved you? you to pay that cabron a surprise visit. I ain't here for revenge. I just need him and Williamson. It's funny hearing them talk about events where when this game initially came out, we didn't really know about that yet. Like, the second game had not come out yet. A loyal supporter of three men. You want a name? I can't even remember the name of the girl you're married. Have you ever known Power Jump? I'm a semi-literate farmer and hired killer. I ain't in the power game. Then you will never have the knowledge that any woman will bear your child. Yet for her, it will be an honor. I've known about enough bastards without making too many more of my own. A man like At this me, point, I, be with just I would not touch him with a 10-foot pole. Justice to the people I have devoted my life to serve. You have an interesting way of serving the people. Kind of like a national gigolo. I owe it to the future of Mexico. Got him. Read, my brother. Oh, wow, yeah. Flowing with the veins of peasants. Can you imagine how great this country can be? An army of Vegas, of kings. I wish I'd... More of you? No, thank you. Do uh. you enjoy your time in Mexico, John? I love yeah, getting shot at every five minutes. Yeah, it's been wonderful. Why are you wonderful. talking like this is already over? I don't know. One way or another, this might be the end. 
What do you think of the Mexican people? I ain't sure. Some of them been kind, but a lot of them tried to kill me. Come, my brother. <laughs> I know what you Americans call us. Greece. What? Song greeners. Pepper guts. For a land of immigrants, you don't like foreigners very much. I don't care who a man is, what he does or where he's from. If he treats me right, I'll do the same. Hell yeah, That's John. For you, isn't it? You would make a fine socialist. What about the Chinese workers here? I hear you ain't exactly made them very welcome. That is different. They are an inferior race. You have all the makings of a great leader, Abraham. Great start. I know who I wouldn't vote for. <laughs> wow. The revolution is gaining momentum. Do you have any idea how many times I've thought about the day I will march into Escalera and storm Allende's mansion? I think I have some idea. Soon it will be me sleeping on those silk sheets and the colonel lying with the cucarachas. From what I've seen of Allende, you might want to wash those sheets. <laughs> you might be right, my friend. Oh, uh, no, we're 100% correct. Work? Do you have enough men? Revolution begins with one person, Joe. One person ain't gonna defeat the Mexican army. I don't know about that, John. Don't sell so yourself so short. They are ready to fight. If it does work, it will. If it does work, and you take down Alinde, what then? I will give the greatest speech of my life. But after all the fighting and all the speeches are over, what will you do? I will march on the capital and take on Sanchez himself. All right, when Mexico's yours, and you have all the power you desire, what will you do with it? Oh, I don't want to know. Any great leader, my brother, I will delegate. Okay. Yeah, makes him a great leader. I'm in favor of American interference, but it will be sad to see you go. I ain't going nowhere till I have Bill Williams. What will you do when this is over? I want to go home, work my land, and grow old with my wife. That is hard for me to imagine. It's hard for me too, but I've pulled this trigger too many times now. I'm getting tired. Well, get ready to pull it a few more times. El Presidio will be heavily guarded. Oh, I think I got a few more left in me. <laughs> Maybe one day you can return to Mexico like Lando Ricketts. A famous outlaw come to die in the sunshine. I can always use a cynical American renegade I miss him. Staff. I'll bear that in mind. Let's not talk for a while, my friend. We should take some time to think about what it means to be heroes. Wow, he wants to stop talking for a second? Wh him! Abraham Reyes, who loves to hear the sound of his own voice. He should have his own YouTube channel. <laughs> Low-key self-burn right there. <laughs> At this point, I think that's definitely why I love having a YouTube channel, is because I love to talk. I love to talk. And if there's people out there in real life that don't <laughs> listen to me, like, you know what, then I'm just going to put it out there. This is our time. If no one will listen to me, at least I'll listen to me. You know, you gotta be your number one fan. Self-love. My men will launch a ruse attack on the side entrance to the fort. Meanwhile, you, my American friend, will drive this wagon at the front gate and yep. jump off when you're close. Great. He's been packed with five crates of TNT. That sounds crazy. How long's the fuse? <laughs> yes, like I say, fun times. It's plenty long enough, I think. I see you in there, Amir. It's plenty long enough, I think. <laughs> Love that little addition. Right, I think... Brother, we will be right behind you. Okay, no, no, no. That fuse is moving a lot faster than I thought it would. And... Oh, man. I don't like how it's crawling over the top of the TNT box. Ah! Holy smokies. Oh, great start. Awesome. You can do this. Are we sure? Because I've tried this several times and I'm not really sure why this is so hard. He keeps saying now, but it's too far away from the door. So we're just going to do this. Okay, do it, do it, do it, go. Thank goodness, did it actually work this time? Holy smokes. That was the hardest thing I've ever had to do in this game. <laughs> Figure out how to time that. We made it, though. That's all that matters. Go, go, 
Libre de escuela ya. Libre en México. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, so no fighting. No fun? That's no fun. Get up on this ladder! What are you doing? Okay, well, that's fun. Oh, okay, yeah, let's just go this shirt. Look by its way up. Yep. We'll cover you, my brother. Alright, cool. Yeah, cover me. Cover me. Come here! Are you all the way up here? Talk with guns. Ha 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 ha. Of course he's not up here. All right. Uh, should I be smart about this? And yeah, let's yeah let's be smart. Let's go down the normal way. All right. So he's gonna be around here, but down below. Is there a different way to get down? Oh, here's a ladder. Sweet. Woo! Alright, so he's on this- No! He's on this level. I mean, I can, like, shoot people and so kill them to, like, protect myself, right? Go with her! I know you're here, old friend! Amigo, come out. Drop your guns and walk away! As I reload my gun. <laughs> Hello, old friend. It's been a long time. <laughs> Hello, brother. It's uh, good to see you. Oh, wow. I heard you was coming. You took your time, no? Come on, you're not gonna shoot your own brother, are you? We was family. Yeah, we were. Then you and Dutch went crazy and family didn't mean so much. <laughs> so, now you do the government's work. And what do you do? You just work for a different government. <laughs> Come on, brother. I think we should go our separate ways, huh? What you and Dutch did was wrong. And the way you left me was wrong. Now, I hate to judge, but as it turns out, Ooh. it's you or me. Ooh. The way I see it, might as well be you. We thought you was dead, brother. I promise. I'm telling the truth. Too late. Besides, I can give you Bill. In Dodge, Dodge is in Colombia. I can take you straight to him. Hmm? You left me to die whoa. to save your own skin, and now <laughs> you expect me to care whoa, about whoa. you? You got it all wrong, brother. I've always loved you. Even now. Oh! Yeah. Yeah. Love you too, I guess. Go back to your farm, John! Hogtie or kill us. Oh, we're gonna hogtie him. I wanna see. Can I go out this window too? Oh, so only he can go out the window, but I can't. Okay. Go, 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 go. Go, he's getting away! Yeah! Oh my gosh. Oh, good lord have mercy. Please tell me I can get out of here. I can't get out of here. I know he's getting away. Apparently there's no good way for him to get out of here. What the heck? Are you kidding me? How am I even supposed to get... Oh my goodness. Go! Alright, I'm not even trying that. We're going this way. Oh, he's downstairs. That Maybe that would have been more helpful. Oh, yep. Yep. There it is. Did he get a- did he get a horse? Probably, yeah, he got on a horse! Come on, a horse! Leg of the horse! Come on! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. Alright, lasso, let's go. We're bringing him in alive. I don't want to kill him unless I absolutely have to. Woohoo! No, no. Bobbin and weaving. Bobbin and weaving. I ain't here for revenge! I, well, I think you just kind of told him you were going to kill him, though, John. What? What? What is it? Just tell me where Bill. Me, <laughs> friend. I got you now. That's I'm right. You in, my brother? I'll let the others judge you. Where's Bill? 
I don't know. Where's Bill, you son of a bitch? <laughs> there it is. You think I won't kill you, brother? There's John yelling. Yeah, Where's Bill? The, he's with agenda. Now you're coming with me. John, you have to yell all of your lines. I ain't here to kill you, Javier. This is just business. Come. I ain't here to kill you. <laughs> Come on, amigo. Abiga wouldn't want this. Keep my wife's name out your you mouth. Already. She always thought you was a creep. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> we was family, brother. You and me. Like Cain and Abel, I guess. Leaving each other for dead. All right. Nice to see you after all this time, Javier. Oh, what a and reunion that was. I mean, putting in the cell for now, John. Ha <laughs> Carry a squid? I gotta carry him? That's too much work. You don't understand what happened. It wasn't like you thought it was. Whatever you say, old friend. You're going in jail. Drop victim. Wait, wait. Can I drop him in here? It was Bill, not me. Yeah, and he's next. <laughs> You're gonna have a roommate. So you and Bill are back together. Two crazy men sharing a bed. Go to hell, you pathetic fool. Okay, well, I guess it wanted me to drop him out. <laughs> I went the extra mile. Dutch never liked you, you know? I gave up caring about him or you a long time ago, friend. As I say. Oh, you shit. I did all the work sure for them. What are you doing, brother? You saw me out. Didn't that life we had mean nothing to you? Oh! Ah, oh, you puto. Watch oh. your mouth. One day, one day, I promise you, you're gonna regret this. One day's about all you got left. Oh. <laughs> I hope you and your wife and children rot in hell. You know, that life we lived is over. And when we was living it, it didn't mean nothing anyway. It was just an excuse, and we all knew. What I knew is that you was always a puto. And you're still a puto. Marston, come with me. The army sent reinforcements. Go. Oh, good. Go with your puto. You <laughs> 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 have to hold the key. Use one of the cannons. I think I know what his favorite word is. Use the cannon? All right. Is that... Is this where it is? Or is it... No, it's not up there. Oh, I gotta go around. Oh my good lord. All right. Oh, it's through here. Okay. There we go. Finally. They're here. I need you at the cannon. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Oh yeah. Let's. Yep. Let's get these guys. Whoops. Sorry. Yeah, I'm ready. Where are they? Oh, they gone. Oh, my, I think I'm aiming too low. Oh, oh, you need to reload. John, 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 John. Dude, no. Where do you think you're going? Oh, yeah, here we go. Leave cannon. Easy. Okay, so we have to go back down to the jail. Go down here. Oh, excuse me. I said everyone's dead. Friends reunited. It is a beautiful thing. Yeah. <gasps> Mr. Marston, fancy seeing you down here. I must say it's a pleasant surprise to I see. I recognize you. those You've hats. Done well, Mr. Marston. Now, Javier here gets to see how far the hand of justice can reach. <laughs> Come on, you. 
Get in the damn automobile. Can we assume one of my commitments is cleared? Unfortunately, nothing is cleared, John, until your obligations are met. We need you to find Williamson, then head to Blackwater as quick as you can. We have reason to believe that Dutch Vanderland is in the area. No way. Oh, your wife sends her regards. Ah. <laughs> We're gonna get to see Dutch. I cannot wait to see Dutch in this game. Fame gunslinger. You're famous from now on. You no longer get in trouble for stealing horses. Too bad I don't need to steal horses, though. I got the best one. All right. Let's see if maybe we can find some beaver furs. Let's go. Okay, but before we do that, um, I have to write a previous Hola, wrong. Marshall. Hola, senor. So last time, <laughs> last time this girl was in peril. Oh my god, what? There's the snake. Oh yeah, so I chose violence over morals, and then failed this quest. But not this time. No way. Give me the money or go to hell. Okay, you can have my money. Take the damn money, you bastard. Yeah. She's all yours, okay? Enjoy her. Gracias, senor. Thank you. Will you miss me, mi amor? What are no. you going to do now? No. I will go to Las Hermanas. The sisters there will help me. Oh, she, she gonna go become a nun? Let's go. Okay. You know what? Money well spent. Whatever helps you. I'll make it back. Technically, I made it back already. Hey. Damn, you guys got a snake problem in here. I'm Fixed it. <laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> what is she doing? Uh, Running around on, like, this awning. Oh, God. Oh, Okay. <laughs> some roast beef, some chicken, a pizza. I'm sorry, I had to throw another SpongeBob reference in there. Some roast beef, some chicken, a pizza. Gosh, dang it. Got another one over here. Don't worry, I got it. No need to scream. No problem. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, she actually needs help. What the hell are you doing? I didn't have time. I didn't have time to let that guy go. <laughs> That was the bullet that I saved for that other guy that I just paid 200 bucks. I couldn't just pass by and let him kill you. You're right. What can I say, partner? That's right. Gotta make my $200 back. Alright, here's a follow-up to saving the girl. Go. By giving that guy $200. Oh, wait, where did she go? Wait, no, no. Is she actually... She's gotta be inside. Hello, ma'am. Have you seen? Sorry, I, <laughs> Sorry, I just pushed over a nun. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Me in times of dark. There she is. Excuse me, sister. If any, Jess. if anyone says I pushed them over, no, I didn't. <laughs> I was looking for a girl by the name of Eva. I think. Wanted to see if she was doing okay. Are you one of her special friends? No, no. I just helped her. Oh. No. She said she was coming in here. Oh, she came and she went. A man came for her. Turned out maybe he was her calling after all. Okay. Thank you, sister. Did she go peacefully? Oh, I think they said they were going to El Sepulcro. But who knows? She wasn't much of one for the truth. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, superness. She better be okay. Let's go. Ava, whatever it is, don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, good lord. No, what's happening? Is she okay? She did. Oh my god. Running out of patience. Are you killing her and burying her? Doing, amigo? Nothing. Why'd you kill her? I didn't kill her. I wouldn't do a thing like that. Sure, I'd eat her, but... Why'd I... you kill her? 
And why are you digging her up? What business is it of yours, huh? Wait, is he burying her or digging oh. her up? I'm confused. You still want to lay with her? Sir, that's huh? disgusting. You sold her. You let her go. No, no, no. A good whore never leaves, man. Do I get my money back now or after I've killed you? <laughs> that's what I like to hear. Stop Let's go. God dang whore, man. Man. God dang filthy whore. He's such a god say, dang whore, she's man. Just a whore. Inche. Now come on. Whoa! What are you calling me? I don't know. I don't understand that. Should I kill him? Should I kill him or spare him, guys? I don't know. He keeps calling me Mang and I don't like it, Mang. I don't like I don't like the way you're looking at me, Mang. <laughs> to shoot you in the... Oh, well, I guess it's the dead dead. Okay. Meng. I don't like it, Meng. This is what I get for trying to do the nice thing and spare him. I die. Not this time. No mercy. You going down. This is for Eva. Boop, beep, 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 beep,
people are finally ready. Today we overthrow the Coronel. Why though? Why like that? That was horrible. Now we have I don't, chance. dude. I don't care. You don't even. He doesn't even look like he cares. Vamos. There will be more in the way. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Uh, loot Not first. Ask questions later. Okay, let's go. Senor, there are prisoners in jail who will fight on our side. Can you save them? I was one dollar away from two thousand two hundred and twenty-two dollars. Damn. I'm over it. Okay. Um, go to the jail. Okay. <laughs> no. I literally can't believe this. What the heck? Ah, it's horrible. Holy! Okay, sure. Yup, 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 yup. That's great. This is wonderful. Oh my. Yay. Okay, while he's shooting you, just take him on no problem. Yes, take your time. Yeah, he did. We don't need to waste any more. Boom! <laughs> Don't think you'll be needing this. Take that. Muchas gracias. Okay, let's go. Senor, let us free. We will help you. All right. Shoot the locks to free the prisoners. That I can do. Oh, let me reload first. <laughs> Shoot. Shoot the doors. They I did. Yeah, I did. I shot that one, yeah. Oh, Ooh. All right, there you go, sir. Thank you, compadre. I will fight next to you. Yeah. Oh, we gained some more new friends. You know, you win some, you lose some. Que pasa? I've been better. Oh, sir, you are right in front of me. You're trying to frighten me! Watch your mouth. I blame my constant death on these bugs that are flying around my room. Oh, wait. Actually, you know what? Let's go in. Let's do this. There we go. There we go. Alright, yep, we're just taking them out with this, too. I don't got time for this. Two for you, and then one for your face. Yeah. Done. That's better. I should've just done that from the beginning. Rest in peace, my friend. Put down Allende, Allende's soldiers. Will do. Excuse me, sir, that's my spot. Ha ha ha. Let's go. Oh, not the machine gun. I don't want to mess with this. Let's do two for that guy. There we go. Come on, peek. Peek. Oh, good news, guys. I finally bought medicine. Be proud of me, please. I finally did the smart thing. Ooh, look at that. Look at all these heads. Ooh. The guy on the turret is still alive? Oh. Now he's dead. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I got a surprise for you! Boom! That's right! Yeah, baby! Don't think you'll be needing this. No, you will not. That's mine. That's mine too. Come on, what are you waiting for, shh, my boy? Shh, shh. Tell me what to do! 
Okay, let's go. Okay, fine. I don't want you nagging me anymore. Oh, okay. Yes, I will. Gladly. We will set up the barrels. Wait for my signal. Okay. I'm not very good at waiting, but we'll try. shoot the barrels. But the game told me not to shoot. What are you waiting for? Shoot the barrels, barrels yet. Oh, this barrel. Oh, I got it. I was looking the wrong way. How are you still alive? Okay. Got him. There's another one. Leave now? Oh, Alright, we'll leave the big guns. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Let's do this. And where'd the other guy go? Oh, he, he fell. Benefits of a misprint view. Where are you going? Boom! Before I shoot a hole in your head. Oh, too late, John. Too late. Who are you calling idiota? Seems like we're on the winning side right now, so. I ain't the idiot. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll take that. Look at all that money! <laughs> okay. Gotta wait for them to break in? Or am I gonna follow you? Okay. Oh, yes. This is not going to keep me safe. I was gonna say... I was just thinking that too. Thank you, game. Yeah, great thought. Great minds think alike. You should get on the Gatling gun for sure. The Gatling gun. Turn this baby around. I don't know who's gonna kill me first, though. These guys are this fly in my room. Don't you dare freaking kill me. No. No. No, I will not have this. This aggression will not stand, man. No, 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 no. No, no. I see you. I see you. There is still, like, one guy up behind this rock. There it is. Is him? Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? Uh-uh. No. Okay. There we go. I think that's it. They're all dead. Huzzah. Let's go. Let's go inside. Come on. We can still get to my stagecoach. Go then. I'll cover you. It's Bill. Hey, we have to stop them. It's Bill. Oh no, they got a gun on their thing too. Come on, John. Let's get to the horses. Okay. Stay and fight me, you coward! Hey, back off. Uh-uh. No, sir. <laughs> Disable Williams' stage coach. Is this it? Are we finally gonna get him? My horse! I have to do this with Legolas! No Legolas is stuck in the stables. I ain't got time for this. Let's go. Okay. Sorry, Legolas. You're being a slow poke. So we have to disable it. Okay. Okay, this horse. This horse is useless. Oh, whoops. <laughs> oh, you got it. You got it. Look at that. All right, we're just gonna take this guy out. Let's go. We don't want none of that. Um. 
Those look like two normies. Yep. Now I'm fucking with you! <laughs> yeah. Alright, here we go. What the hell are you doing? Find my freedom, pendejo! Now shut up, you dumb ape! And get out of the wagon! Apurate! I'm coming out! Don't shoot! Here! Take Williamson! Just let me live! I will leave the country, <laughs> I promise! <laughs> wow! Just let me live. You always was weak-minded! You're the one who let Dutch drive you insane! Is this Dutch it? Dutch wanted you dead! We all did! Well, I'm going after him next! I'll outlive all of you! You always was a traitor! You bastard orphan! What? And you always was a dumb inbred hick! <laughs> Esta noche duermo en tu cama, cabrón! Oh, all right, John! I, I, I'll, I'll come quietly! What? No way. What the hell? Wait, so am I gonna kill him? Do I do it? I don't wanna do this. I kill him? What is going on with my gun right now? I'm trying to move away from him. You are, you sir, are too close for comfort. Hop off my junk for a second, jeez. Do I gotta do it? I guess we gotta do it. Allende is dead. Mexico is mine. Yeah, that does not instill confidence, though. Mm. Yikes. That's it. My people are free, and it is all thanks to you, Joe. And to the people who laid down their lives. People like Louisa. Oh, yes. She, she was very brave, and she will be missed. Who was she again? <sighs> Your peasant oh girl wife-to-be? Oh, yes, of course. She, wow. she will have a day named after her. Laura's day! Louisa. Louisa. What? Oh, yes, I, I knew Laura as well. Magnificent girl, like riding a pompous bully was amigo. You never saw anything like it. Anyway, John's just straight up ignoring him. <laughs> Let's get back to politics. I trust you will join us in riding on the Capitol. I'd love to, but with Williamson dead, my jailers need me back in Blackwater. Hey, que hacen? Levanten sing. Well, I must say, I'll miss you, John Marston. I will not. I doubt you'll even remember me, Abraham, yep. but it's been an experience. <laughs> Good luck with the revolution. If you win power, <laughs> remember why you wanted it. Yes. Mm. Remember. Well, travel safely, amigo. Yes. With great power comes great responsibility. Mmm. Well, Mexico's nice knowing you. Ooh, new items are available to purchase from stores. Maybe we should go shopping. G? Who's G? Oh, no freaking way! Now we can finally go up to the bloody Great Plains. So I was right. I wasn't allowed to go up there yet. That was premature. Thank goodness, because that was bothering me for the longest time. And now there's so much more stuff we can do. Let's do the lights, camera, action first. Oh, God. This... I'm, gonna... mm, I'm about to 1v1 this fly right now. Oh, no can do. No can do. I got to read the newspaper. Oh, you know what? Fine. We're fine. I'm oh, This guy just robbed us. Please, you got to go out. I think I know who you're talking about. Hold on. The <laughs> daily newspaper is going to have to wait because you know. I gotta read it. <laughs> Hold on. Sir, come here. Come here. Relax. Get your ass over lost here. This argument. <laughs> you lost this argument. I'm about to put you in the river so the alligators can eat you. What you been eating? Ah! Damn, John. Uh, burn. Well, okay. I uh, wish he ran faster carrying a whole human. Hello, ma'am. Here you go. 
This is for you. I have a present. There you go. Yes. Do what you want with them. Oh. Mine's good of you. That's right. Harder. Harder. Everyone around here loves the spit. Why? Oh, there it is. I was going to say, where is the spit? That is uncharacteristic of these people. Do not spit. Okay, ooh, we are right. Here we go, guys. Mexican pirate, <laughs> I'm here, I'm here for the newest new edition of the Finger Blaster, okay? <laughs> Shut up and give me the newspaper, okay? I gotta see it. Let's go. Thank you. Oh, Thank yeah, you. you're very welcome. Here you go, for the local economy. Oh, I seize it. I seize it. Ready, ready, ready? All right, here we go. New governor comes under attack. Boring. Automobile deaths up, lynchings down. Congratulations, I guess. Tyrannical governor overthrown. Is Sanchez next? The answer is yes. New federal government agency does exist. Cool story. Awesome. <gasps> wow! Dutch Vanderlyn spotted. Oh my God, we have to zoom in and read this. Famed outlaw Dutch Vanderlyn, a man long believed dead has been spotted alive and unfortunately well in our region. Mr. Vanderlyn, who ran a gang of outlaws and robbers for many years has now resurfaced and it seems has not given his life over to the Lord. What a blasphemy. Mr. Vanderlyn wanted for questioning over several murders and robberies back in the early years of the century is now being linked to a recent assault on a farm just north of Blackwater in which two men were killed. I don't know if you could tell I was really trying to sound like an NPR news person there. <laughs> I don't know if I nailed it or not. Temperance Crusaders rally in Blackwater. Woman arrested for indecent attire. Well, they would hate the year 2023 now, wouldn't they? Hold the heck on. I almost, I almost went right past this. Mick Heron's face and bust cream. Age is not kind to women, especially those women in their 20s. Well, <laughs> the prime of matrimony. That is devastating for me to read. I guess I just got one foot in the grave already, guys. I hate to tell you this, but apparently I am on my last legs. Just tell my mom I love her, okay? The famous red mist secret liquor cure. As soon as the rage starts to build, apply the red mist secret liquor cure to any drink or dinner and watch in amazement as all cravings washes away. I need that, okay? Theater review, Stretch Hawthorne, the singing blind grave robber. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. Tapeworm custody battle? Are you kidding me? Hold on, because the last, <laughs> the last newspaper article was something about like massive tapeworm, and then I remember saying something like, "Oh, is this like the?" I just immediately started thinking of the movie, the tre like Tremors, the story of a colossal tapeworm extracted from the body of a young Blackwater girl by resident physician Dr. Cyril Purvi Purvis. Okay, took a strange turn today when the girl's mother demanded that it be returned to its rightful owner. The tapeworm, which measures 32, I'm sorry, 52 feet and is the longest on record, was removed intact and survived outside the body for further 11 hours. More than 300 people at a cost of 5 cents each came to gawp at the hydra-headed monster and Dr. Purvis now plans to sell its preserved corpse to a museum, circus, or custoda enthusiast. The girl's mother claims that the stomach an 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 anilid? the stomach anilid is tantamount to a biological grand... Excuse me? <laughs> There are so many words I don't think I've ever seen before. Unless I'm just not close enough in. And that any pecuniary gain should be hers and hers alone. When questioned about the incident, Dr. Purvis responded with, There's only one true parasite in this whole charade. And let me guess, it's the mother. <laughs> oh man, that is amazing. Polio, typhoid, TB. TB. Damn it. Cholera epidemics business as usual. Electric belt cures diseases. Okay, bet. Magic lantern thing. Cool. Yeah, and then miscellany. Well, this edition was not as good as last week's edition, but definitely some funny stuff. I love that we got a follow up on the tapeworm saga. That is absolutely hysterical. Oh, there's no new edition. That is a shame. All right. Oh, wow. Yep. Definitely have not- 
I wasn't even allowed to go here. I tried to travel over here and like explore this way and it would not let me and now it makes sense why. It was because of the story. The story will eventually bring you here. Or, yeah, yeah, the story will eventually open this up because here is the follow-up quest for light camera action. I'm very excited for this. Hello! Oh, wait, no, this place does look familiar. More arm wrestling. Oh god, I'm sorry, dog. Where is this guy? There he is. Hello. Mr. McKenna, what are you doing here? Thought you were running a film company. Oh, Marston, how the fates have spurned me. The muses cajoled and lament my foolish nature. The hubris. The hubris. The hubris. It's the best of us. I've lost everything. Every last dime I invested in that studio is gone. The production was delayed by weather. That fool Spatchcock fell in love with the cameraman and ran off to Canada. Damn you, the gods of bad weather. Damn you, Canada. And the hearts of vain men. I love this so guy. So I have to go and make dreams elsewhere. Good luck. It'll take more than luck to stop me. <laughs> I love this guy. He's my favorite side character. He is so over dramatic, and that is why I love him because I see a little bit of him in me. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. Ooh, I think this is new too. Features hole. Wait, wait, wait. I'm supposed to meet someone out here. Where is he? I think he's all the way the heck out here. There you are. I know you. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. The elusive Mr. Marston. Hey, there's a beautiful spot. Sure. What are you doing here? My accounts. I'm an accountant. Is that so? In a way. Hmm. What's your name? You know, it's the darndest thing. I can't remember. Tell me your damn name and where you know me from. Well, I know you're from Mexico. I know you're from back out west. I know you from all over. Tell me your name or I won't be responsible for my actions. Oh, but you will. You will be responsible. This is a fine spot. See you around, cowboy. What? No. Give me closure. Damn you! Yes, many have. Oh! What? Hold on, what? Is he a ghost? He's a ghost! No way! He was dead the whole time! Okay, as someone who loves ghosts and finds like spirits and the, the supernatural the paranormal super fascinating that was awesome oh man i feel like so much happened during this video and i'm like trying to think of everything so we can recap Ooh, i think we started off this episode if i remember correctly i don't know it all feels like a blur now because just it all happened so quickly and there was so much going on oh i think i remember at the very beginning we walked in on on Reyes doing the nasty. That was wonderful. That will forever live in my head rent free. Thank you. We killed Allende. We killed Bill. And to be honest, I was expecting that meeting to be a lot more impactful. But I, I have to keep remembering though that at this time when this game came out, like we didn't have the rich backstory, like all the knowledge that we got from the second game. So, I mean, I guess it does make more sense because if you had only played this game before playing the second one, basically the whole game we were chasing him and he was being super elusive. We never caught him there there was no like emotional build up yet and all the emotion and the build up and the lore was built up in the second game now we kind of know that we are searching sounds like ultimately for dutch i cannot wait to see him because you know in the second game having played that even though he was crazy and he always had a plan and it never went to plan he was definitely one of my favorite characters just iconic character and i hope he has 
he is just as iconic in this game as he was in the other one. We finally concluded the I Know You quest, and it turns out this dude was a freaking ghost the whole time, and it totally makes sense, and it really fed into the level of mystery. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I know I did. Thank you so much again for watching. If you enjoyed this, make sure to leave a thumbs up on the video, subscribe to the channel, and click that bell button to get notified. I think this fly finally gave up on bothering me, and whew! Too bad I gotta go somewhere or else I would take this opportunity and continue playing. Anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you guys next time.